What up, everyone? MCI ADP Studios, um, mixing it up, podcast episode three. Um, I got Los, Los the King here today on the podcast. What up, bro? What up, what up, what up, what up? How you doing? I'm doing all right. Yeah? Yeah, I'm chilling. Living it? Chilling? Chilling. I like your chain. Hanging out. Audio like life. That. Custom made? Yeah. Custom. Sh- shout out to... The maker, jeweler? Yeah. No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah. Uh-huh. All right. So, uh, yeah, for episode three, kind of popped up. Uh, uh, Los has been one uh, person I wanted to definitely have on this podcast, and actually you'll probably see him on here frequently doing more things because we do got some ideas. So um, let's just give a little backstory how we met, and then I want to kind of hear your backstory, and uh, we'll, we'll go from there. Cool. So, uh, what's your recollection how uh, we got introduced? Uh, let me think. What was it like? Uh, I know it was music. Let me think. I don't know. I think I was looking for beats. It was, and I, then it turned into like a podcast, of course. But well, I think it was like, I think I was looking for beats for artists. Well, that's you were I doing, think. uh, I oh, think. yeah. Maybe, maybe that's how you discovered me. But remember, you were doing. Me, that was the first time I met uh, PL12, too. Shout out, PL. Uh, right. You what brought me and him now? up to the radio station to talk. Oh, about the music yeah. business. Yeah, I was I was yeah. talking to the producers. Yeah. There we go. So, I knew it was something yeah. about music. Yeah. Bro. Oh, yeah. It always goes back to the music. But, uh, yeah. So, um, why don't you tell the audience a little bit about yourself, man, your backstory, you know, kind of how you grew up and uh, what motivated you to be a creator, to want to move forth in uh in the music space as a creator as well so just uh, just let me know what you close. i was born in um i was born in cali raised in michigan i came to michigan when i was like seven so you know i was here for all that time doing you know whatever kids do and then uh you know i ended up moving down south because i was like one of those troubled kids or whatever so i ended up getting shipped you know to a different area to change change my lifestyle oh, okay. fresh so, prince of bel-air yeah. stuff yeah <laughs> <laughs> i never even thought about that yeah kind of, hey check it though they like fresh prince of bel-air me to like arkansas <laughs> so yeah nowhere fucking yeah, cool not the rich uncle's house and yeah shit. it wasn't no rich <laughs> uncle so i got shipped down south basically to where it was nothing like it's impossible for him to get in trouble you know, here because there's nothing going on, which was not true. Because at that time it was like heavy gang, gang, gang things going on and stuff down there, and I was already doing a, a bunch of stuff. So yeah, I stayed in Arkansas and St. Louis, Battle Creek. But I, when I moved from Michigan, I went to down south. Okay. So I frequent down south. So. Okay. So you and then have uh, a yeah. Home. So basically, it was just just street, street, streets. You know, I love music, but you know, after getting in so much trouble, uh, I just you know stopped. I stopped eventually, <laughs> wanting to do the whole street lifestyle thing, and I just reverted back to, you know, whatever what I, what I love doing, which was music. I didn't really want to rap, so I I got into radio. Radio turned into promotions and promotions turned into management and then you know it just blossomed into creating and and just being you know trying to get something back to the culture as a whole just creatively basically so when in music and art and you know whatever right sorry to meet it yeah you could uh, uh, i was gonna say so but about what age did you think that was like yeah I know you said you got into radio, right? And we'll talk a little bit about that as well, because obviously that's kind of part of our story as well. But right. um, at what age, you know, where you were kind of like, you know, I'm kind of done with this and I want to find a different route. And then how did you know it was, just, you said you always enjoyed music. But how do you know it was like, yeah, I want to, you know, do uh, well, radio I used about to like, it and do video. It's you know. like, all right, so like I used to rap when I was in the streets. Like I was a rapper too, you know, like everybody, everybody was a rapper, of course, so. Like I was rapping, and uh, you know, 
it stuff went left in the streets is the best way I could like describe it. Like a lot of a lot of bad things start happening to where it was an avalanche between, you know, my whole crew. It was just like people was getting locked up, people was losing their lives, it was getting tight. So it was like, you know, I ended up coming back home after it, it got mixed up. I ended up leaving, going on the run, coming back home. So basically, it was just a snowball effect of horrible things happening to just setting setting me back in my life just from choosing the wrong path, and then uh, somewhere in between there, I had I had a daughter, okay. and so while I was doing like my last stretch of ever you know sitting down for a substantial amount of time, which was like seven months, that was like my last thing I had to get out of my system before, you know what I'm saying, before I was just good with the state or whatever. Right. So I did seven months. During that seven months, my daughter was born. So, like, I got locked up two, three months right before she was born. Long story short, she came. I seen my daughter from jail, and I was like, eh, you know. Yeah. I had to get out, yeah. start being a father. It's I kind of that really, fork in the road. Yeah, where it's like, can't be like yeah. what my father right. was. My pops was, right. you know, running the streets and getting locked up and I'm like, oh, you know, like that little flashback. You'd be like, oh, sh like, you know what I'm saying? Like, shit, I look like my pops now because <laughs> now that, I'm the, with, that's on the inside looking at my kid like I had to see my pops. So I just wasn't with that. And I, it just, you know, it actually went to, you know, sports and then music. Okay. You know, I have, I have a, a stepson, like my daughter's brother. Okay. So when I did change... I was around him a lot, so like I said, when you go, you know, when you start, it's almost like getting out of prison. You, when you come home, you only remember so much. So you only remember sports. I remember sports. Right. Like I like yeah. sports and music. So I got this kid right here. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, he ain't yeah. doing nothing. So I just taught him how to play sports. Shout out to Sincere. He do at Ferris right now playing football. So oh, it nice. kind of went through sports, and I ended up doing just like going crazy, like to just get all the 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 streets out of me. I just went crazy. So I had like a hundred leagues of basketball, football, baseball, just all type of outreach programs, just trying to you know do my part to you know try to reverse it, try to make sure I I didn't gave back because I I definitely feel like I did you know a lot. A lot did a lot of things that okay. I'm not proud of. So right, right, right. That to, makes sense. So kind of balance some it out. Of it back. Yeah. yeah, yeah. If you if that's well, possible, so, I balance it right, out. Right, right, right. Uh, you know. So yeah, I did that. You, still do that, but you know, it kind of was sports, and then you know, you can only do one thing for so long, and it was just like, yeah, I want to do something else. So, right. I had a voice. I always like talking, and I could write. So, you know, I used to rap. So, radio. I just tried it one time and then uh actually I'm stunting. I used to go up to the radio station and for the youth program at one oh at one oh three point seven yeah, the beat yeah. and yeah. and they used to just talk to me. So, you know, during the interview we get into other stuff and then oh, okay. PA was like, Hey, you can speak like so you know. I kinda like going up there and I just spoke on it. And some things worked out, and I did a couple shows, and they gave me my own show, and then that's how the radio thing got going. And that's actually how we got introduced. Yeah, had and the then that's interview. When I, you know, of course, I got up the there. To, yeah, pretty uh, much the same thing though. Like you see, when I did like the sports, it was for the hood. Like you know, what I'm saying, me get the shorties, and then when I did radio, it was like let me reach back to the hood, see who who popping in the city. I don't want to get on the radio and start playing. All these superstars, like, I don't know them. Ain't no purpose oh, right, in that for right, me. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? I might yeah. as well put on right. people from my city. So right. that was what if I used, that platform. platform. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So yeah, I dope. did that. I went that route with that. Yeah, so and then I actually did a few episodes of The Wave with you uh, towards the end there or, or whatever. I did a couple. I was up there. We had some rappers freestyle. We talked about a few things. Yeah, The Wave things, was you know. popping jotted down and uh we were up there doing our thing so that's kind of how we got introduced right and uh we've always kind of kept with contact uh let me go back real quick um with your story uh just for people that don't know i find it interesting uh with the giving back so that's i know that's stuff you're involved in right now and you know 
with the EDP podcast. Do want to educate and inspire. You do educate me when we talk, bro, and you do inspire right. me with the outreach and shit you do. I so that I mean, that. that's the reason why I do keep in contact with you. So yeah, yeah. I appreciate you being on the show too. You know? Yeah, so. that's like the fly shit I do. Actually, like the kids, the kids stuff is the flyest. All the other shit is just just say it just because it's a part of your story. But the kids stuff is that's the flyest shit I yeah. do. Like kids so, keep you young. So right, yeah. So what? Want to just talk about a couple of some of the outreach pro because you're doing some right now, right? Oh yeah, you, I got we were the, talking um, a little bit earlier about the, I'm with, the uh, music one, right? But yeah, I'm doing the Young Creators Project that I got. That's um, it's like ten, twelve kids that I had since um, since like April, something like that. But they did a talent show. They did a cool kids concert with like um, that girl Lele and uh. I don't know, the Backpack Kid, Future Kings, uh, Silentio was supposed to uh, perform, but uh, that girl, Lele, came through. So it's basically a group of kids that's, you know, singers, rappers, dancers. Uh, it's a pianist up in there, if I'm saying that right, like he played the piano. Yeah. So, yeah, they just creating content, and we just working with them to, to teach them the ins and outs of the game, you know, so they can... Not only, you know, make music, but be bosses, be able to put their own music out, be able to produce their own product and market themselves, which is where music is going. So, you know, I just took it down to younger, younger kids. I still sh still show love to everybody, but you no, know, the kids is the future, right. so they want to rock too. Yeah, I, so and I, I and we were talking um, earlier, but the reason why I think that's so smart too is because it, if you can teach that, them kids you know, that, hey, this probably will take three to five solid years of really hard work, right. especially while you're living at mom and dad's and don't have bills and all this other stuff right, to right, worry right. about. Take you advantage get now that you can be <laughs> on the internet all day networking and doing social media or learning shit that, you know what I mean? Like, so as long as they understand that three to five years, they can already be ahead when they're 18 years old, you know what I'm saying? So. <laughs> I was laughing at somebody, but... uh he was like, you a bad person. Like, it's just hilarious. My guy, my boy Troy on here, give him a shout out. But yeah, <laughs> so yeah, that was, that's the definitely the, the basis of it for, you know, to take advantage of being young and you could be an entrepreneur. You know, entrepreneurs are so young. Like if if me and a lot of my friends and people I knew was like hip to the the stuff that they have now, they would have. Man, we could have we could have did a lot of things. You could do it now, but at now I see so many young millionaires that, you know, I don't think kids in our city are inspired to do the the creative stuff. I think we push sports super yeah. heavy, yeah. and we push, you know, we push. It's just not at the forefront. Like right. we really just sports for real, for yeah. real. Just to be honest, we push sports a lot, but there's no really no creative outlet for kids that 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 sing and rap and dance and they they don't play sports so the problem is with the sports though is like you being a creator a dancer a piano player you know these right, kids right. that you're bringing up like becoming a famous uh, you know a lucrative sports star is you know right the probability of that but probably both of them though <laughs> extremely high or i mean extremely low excuse me um but you can figure out a way to make money with your creativity you know what i'm saying yeah. like after you didn't get picked for the NFL, then what do you do? Yeah, you can make you, money I guess you could play arena football or whatever, but, I mean, what's is that a low probability? Right. I'm, so I'm just saying, in the very long run, like, being the creator, that's that's definitely, yeah. um, you know, that's a smoother move. Yeah, I think I heard somebody say, like, you can create, you know, from nothing. Your mind could create currency. You right. Know? Your body could give out in sports. You might not be good enough, politics, but you can always use your mind to make to make some money, so... Yeah, that, that's, that's actually, what the creators is yeah. about. You know, it's gonna be that. We also developing a robotics team. Now that's like super hard. So that's in like develop it. But I want to put like robot a robotics team together from like uh, kindergarten and and then move them up. So it start with like Legos, okay, and stuff like that. So we like building the little robotics team for the little kids, and then have a lot of you know creators and young engineers coming up. So. 
So how do you choose the kids for like these programs? Is it people you know? Really just put the info out there and hope people come do it. But yeah. you know, we've been talking about going into the schools and just starting to grab, you know, the kids that that's you know, they like my man described it as like let's grab the kids that's playing Fortnite all the time or something. Right. You know, the kids that ain't really they ain't on the scene like that. They not at the sporting events so. You want the the super smart kids, but I was we was looking it up and and robotics is lit like it's like one of the top things in the country like the tournaments it's like crazy how they treat the kids, so yeah it's like eighty million dollars in scholarships Damn. and they left like forty million dollars on the table because nobody is into it especially oh, like in like yeah. at MCC they just built like a four million dollar. Um, complex or whatever you would call it just for robotics to go in go in there and do 3d printing and just go in there for free and, well, and people <laughs> in our community don't even know about that so dude that's like, the a wave, huge though. field that's the way yeah. because everything's to become automated and ro you right. know, robotic and everything so exactly you know. and then going back to the young creators thing is like uh another reason why i think it's great is because really we're going into that time of life is like you know some of these jobs and stuff for some of these kids are going to be way different or they're going right. to get a degree or they're not going to be there how yeah, they're talking yeah, they're going to get a, they're going to spend a bunch of money on a degree and i'm not knocking college i say hey do it whatever but like you know sometimes degrees cost a lot of money and then you don't get a job in that field and you're still paying right. those loans back so it's like i'm not saying don't do that but the way of the future is to learn how to create or make money off your art or build a business online you know yeah, what i mean so definitely. that's the smart thing and the robotics thing too because yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like dude everything's gonna be automated build like, the machines that the, the yeah. factories are working in basically it's like almost my perspective is like you could change the narrative instead of keep teaching kids to like go work i don't teach my kids like that i don't they don't hit me saying work work and go find a job like you create a job so right you could yeah. build the robot that the company wants if you're an engineer you know what i'm saying so yeah. It's a, it's just another outlet that I feel like we should be using. So with that robotics thing, is that just like maybe through you said through a school that you're gonna be able to? No, I'm gonna do it through or? um through the through the young creators. You oh, know, okay. it's all it's all branch branched together because it's all a part of creating. You know, you might yeah. build a robot that okay. changed the world right. or something yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. So <laughs> no, shit. <laughs> so like the, it's just a, it's just another branch of it. But I do work with Pathfinders. Which is, you know, a program that been around. No, actually, it's the longest program, grassroots program in Muskegon. So, and that's like, so, you know how you got the boys in the girls club. Mm -hmm. That's cool too. Like I ain't here to knock them or nothing. Right. Yeah, yeah. Pathfinders is something that been here since I was a kid. Okay. So you know, boys and girls club would be like the big, the big brand that pushes the Pathfinders out. Which I okay. could have, you know, I did a couple of things with them too. But they're like under the I umbrella. rather work with. You know, that's just me. I just rather do, do it from the streets. Like yeah, the, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. what I would yeah. just attribute that to being. That's yeah, I like the, the independent. yeah independent. Like I don't want to go with the <laughs> yeah. the big global brand. Yeah, Shout right. out to the Boys and Girls Club though. You yeah, know, yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure, man. Everybody a lot needs. Of great stuff yeah, it's a lot of kids, man. It's a right. million kids, but right. I just like Pathfinder so. Okay. And then a lot of things, they do everything that they do too, but I feel like we mow hands on. Like you ain't going to get a young creators program in the Boys and Girls Club. Right. So, you know what I'm saying? You ain't going to get more a, art. Yeah, more you're not going to get yeah. a, the same the same vibe as, you know, it's going to be like you coming where your cousin's at instead of just going somewhere where it's, you know, 100 kids. Right. We got like 30. So yeah. We that can get one-on-one -on -one with them. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. So, yeah. Yeah, that's that's awesome. I know we were talking about that earlier. So, um, so come to Pathfinders, Pathfinders. whenever this drop, yeah. whenever this interview yeah. drop. <laughs> uh, hopefully, this one will get out soon because I got the new uh, mics on here. Um, I'm also going to mention that I will be wearing this fucking Home Alone hat. Like, I'm about <laughs> to rob that shit like all winter long because my fucking shit is cold, bro. So I'm just letting you know that right now. All the podcasts watch. <laughs> so be looking like. Why is your parents going on a trip? So but, yeah, uh, yeah. So uh, uh, I'm gonna switch gears a little bit right here because we we go on and cool. on about this, and I know we talk about uh, we can get the music and everything because uh, we all like to talk about music. So I I'm just gonna hit you with a couple questions right off rip. Um, 
I know you're a guy that does his, does his marketing, studies his marketing, and kind of knows where to go. I know you're developing a. Um, we kind of talked about you developing an artist, a few artists, um, some people you're working with. But uh, so, what would you do right now if you were an artist, just to get started to market your music? Like, what would be some of the first things that you do to, you know, to give out a little sauce right here from Los, because you've seen a lot heard a lot you know so mm, like a, we say like if it's already done right like the content yeah like say so you got a great song or i got you, a great song a and artist, i want to push you it. don't really have a fan base but like what would you do with that song what what do you think what do you think uh are some steps that some of these artists can do to you know right, if start i just, build if i know base. i got the great song i probably i'm gonna go to the djs first okay so i go to the djs and and i would uh yeah, I get the DJs to spin my record every night. I go to the DJs, get them to spin my record. I'm gonna just gloss past the the presentation of the project because I I didn't said that enough. So we just gonna go to the business. Make sure your your project looks good, but get it to the DJs, and then work radio. And you know I would I would have a video shot for it, but I wouldn't put a video out to it until I got the response from people in the clubs and on radio, you know, for a little while, like a, a month. I don't know the exact timetable right, of it, yeah, but yeah. I would definitely go to the DJs first. So okay. I would find DJ QA9, Jody Dro, uh, DJ Young, uh, whoever else I'm forgetting, and I, I would get them all. I would get them all my music. I would have a listening party with probably with more um, – DJs and producers and artists, but I would have a listening party. I would do all of that just for the one song, and then I would put the the uh, the money behind it okay. as far as the uh, the advertising okay. on social media. Everything right. is social yeah. media now, so yeah. your DJs is where everybody's at because you you in the club, and then social media is where everybody at. So I would pour money into social media advertising. So. You know, every time you get on social media, whether you like it, skip past it, you're gonna see me. That's what I do. Right. That's what I do with it. Get it to the DJs. So obviously, an artist right off rip should be already networking and knowing who his local DJs are in his town, yeah, in his definitely. surrounding towns, getting to have a personal relationship with these guys. Right. So, um, and that's part of you know networking. We go on and on about networking and uh, yeah, network so, it. Put it on. I mean, yeah. Let me. I, I glossed. I forgot that part. And network the project more than in your city. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Take it, take it wherever, wherever you feel like you can go get down there. Take it there and and push your project. You know, you got relatives somewhere, and they uh, in an environment where your music a uh, uh, rock. Go there, push it. Give it to DJs there too. Like work the project. Take your time on it. I've heard a lot of stories about people breaking breaking projects, you know, a year, two, two years later. So, oh yeah, yeah, for sure. That's what I think. Definitely, we we don't do enough of. So, like, slow down the process and see how the song lands and shit before. Right. You, so you're developing. I mean, you could go fast too. Oh yeah, yeah. Like yeah. you can go yeah. and push it and put a lot of it and right. then come back with more. But yeah. make sure you put in, don't just put it on fate, like. Somebody's going to hear it because yeah. nobody's going to hear it. Yeah, it's just the... Uh, like we was talking in the back, you was yeah. like people just put their music on a Facebook platform and just tag a lot of people and nobody listened to it because after you tag boxes. so many people, like people don't even look at it or see it. Like, well, Facebook's smart, so they know like all you tag 50 people and one of them looked at it, like we're not even going to show them the, the people any fucking yeah, way. Yeah, you know? so, we just don't Just the it. way they throttle That's stuff, how Facebook right? be doing me. They be like, we ain't going to show people your comment because I be saying the wrong stuff on social media. Right, yeah, they yeah. Done put a, a hit on me. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Zuckerberg's out to get lost. Right. Yeah, he owed me. Yeah, but yeah, that's, that's the that's biggest thing. That's why you got a backup account. But, uh, <laughs> I do. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, so uh, you, you know, I totally, I totally agree with that. Um, my thing is just if you get the DJs and uh, you start pushing it, you got to know who your fan is, though. You know, we yeah. kind of talk about that too. You you really got to know who the people are that would like your music. Yeah. Like, so I say, like, find ten artists. That you think you may sound similar to, 
and then you kind of start there and then see where their fans are at. Right. Because then you know. But you don't start spamming those people and shit. You go to what right. we're talking about. And this is just kind of the Gary Vee principle. Just do the hashtag thing and talk to people. That can be a little oversaturated, but I think it's just that one at a time mentality. Too. Man, that hashtag thing is crazy because that stuff works. Because I use it too. Yeah. Like it is, I'm not disciplined enough to use it like how they use it. So, yeah, like I think majority of my followers is like yeah. on Facebook. So I use that a lot. But Instagram is like the coolest because. You know, I got a lot of followers on Facebook. I, got, I don't have no superstar followers, but for me, I got, like, <laughs> enough followers yeah. for me. For what I'm doing, I could build off of that. Right. I'm going to yeah. get to 100K one day, though. And uh, I even talked about this in my first podcast, and I'll probably say this a million times. It's just, like, that one-at-a-time approach. Like, you know, you put something out, you built this relationship with somebody. It may took a little while, but they're going to really be invested in your shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? And you'd be like, hey, check out my stuff, bro. And they check it out. And they're like, okay, cool. But you got to do that a bunch of times. Right. You I can't think, just think that. You know what's crazy? Nothing's flashing in. What the fuck is going on with that? I don't know. No. You know what's crazy? Like, I don't think, uh, I don't take advantage of my big Instagram <laughs> moments. Because if I book a show or if I'm doing a show promoting it with somebody, I'd never take pictures. Oh. Like, I only took pictures with, um, like, that girl, Lele. And I did, like, Man, I did a few shows. I did a lot of shows, man, with people that they probably not mega stars, but they got way more followers than me. Right. And I just don't take advantage of the moments. But my kids loved her, so of course I flicked up with her and all that. I always find myself in those situations too. Probably even right now. Like, uh, are you live or what? Am was I live? You live? I was live. Oh. Yeah. Well, uh, you're like, hey, watch this at. Oh, it is noon now. But I mean, I'm no. put that. You know, I'm, we gonna work the project anyways. We good. <laughs> we gonna work that. Yeah. But, but I, yeah. I always feel that too. I'm like, man, I should have took a bunch of pictures. I did like these sessions and all that for. And yeah. Like, so now I'm trying to get better at that too. Like you know, we talked about content is king too. Like with the artists, man, there's not a not enough artists are putting shit out that people want to look at. No. Nah. Too uh, many like, like visuals are cool, songs are cool. I'm not. I mean, that's that's how you make it off of that. But like, you gotta you gotta have something that people want to follow your social media for more right. than just posting your fucking links and songs all the time. Right. Like, I think show them most... how you do it. Fucking, you know, have something inspirational or tell them a struggle, tell them your story. You know, everybody says that. We talk about Gary V. Mm -hmm. You know, fucking most people. Yeah, I see everybody using story, that format, but it's like, man, it's like a lot of a lot of people that's missing it don't uh, follow what they see and successful people do or what's perceived to be successful because, you know, maybe they're not as successful behind closed doors, but they at least where you're trying to get and I don't, I don't see people following the same things. Like before I even knew Cardi B was a rapper, I seen a lot of work. I seen like all the Instagram stuff and she was like a meme and, uh, she was on reality TV shows. Like, even when I heard, like, a real dope song of hers, I heard it, then I, like, for, excuse me, then I, like, forgot about it. But Blueface, everybody, like, that wasn't a, I keep telling, like, the young guys that's under me, like, that wasn't an accident. Like, you didn't oh. start seeing Blueface on yeah. accident. You right. start seeing him when he start. When somebody started marketing them, right. you know, all the yep. whack rapper and he off beat, that was a plan. So I like to tell people, you know, everything is a plan, which is what you saying. Like, you got to add something else to the equation because everybody catch catch and, and drop stuff so fast that what else do you bring to the table besides a song? Without being gimmicky, too, you know, I'm not with the gimmicks, but, you know, you got to have a personality. Right. Or your music has to be super dope or you have to have a super big machine pushing you. And I don't think we get it. Like, we still want handouts where I'm from. We just, we just not going to get it. So I, I, don't, I don't know a, a rapper that, that hit people up more just off what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Just off, off what I tell people, off, off my content on the scene in our culture, in our city. You know, majority of them respect me. Hey, they, some of them might not like me, but they respect me and what I'm saying. So, right. and I and I stay consistent with that. Like you're not you. It's a real lazy ap approach to pushing music. So, well, not everybody. Ninety percent though. Yeah. Right. Ninety five. And like we talked about, um, and I'll say this again: the music's the easy part. Yeah. 
Definitely. I mean, yeah, you should probably have high quality and buy beats. Like, if you can't get that far, you're not even ready to do shit yet. But, uh, like, the quality is unspoken. Right. Well, your favorite artist has the best quality, so you need to fucking have good quality, you know? So that right. just should be a no-brainer. But, like, a lot of people can make songs. You can get quality. That's easier to do. But... You need to uh, take that time to learn how to market your shit. Don't tag motherfuckers. Learn how not to do shit. Don't spam right. people. Like build relationships. Like build I actually email stop list. tagging people. Like some, I tag people in like an event, but not like no music or something. But I actually seen somebody who said like, if you was popping, you wouldn't have to tag nobody. So well, that's true too. But here's the other thing just I, don't over tag people that's what right. I'm saying like, well, I tag people dude sometimes. if I'm involved in a song tag me all fucking day I mean you know if I'm pushing something then I'm tag you in right. but I'm not the music though the music mm. I, I feel like I'm more creative enough to to where I might put it on Facebook a little but it, Facebook ain't great for pushing music right unless so you run I, ad, I use unless you're running adverts and shit yeah unless you run the advertisement yeah. Yeah. Facebook really not your, your city is not gonna be the one that puts you on first Right. Yep. You gotta, gotta build gotta that guy in that guy in Ohio that hears your shit and is like, "Holy yeah. shit, this is badass!" Yeah. And then you don't and really then they know gonna, about Then they're gonna fuck with you. Right. After that, they're gonna fuck with you. But you get one of those, you can get two, you can get five, you yeah. can get a hundred. There's shit for everybody out there, you know. So, I think with artists, you can't have that. Um, you gotta have that abundance mentality. Like, there's enough out there for everybody, man. You know, yeah. there's gonna be people that will dig your shit if you're good. I mean, if you fucking suck, I mean. People, hopefully yeah. people tell you, you might you suck, might still but. be good even if you fucking suck yeah if you days. fucking suck uh you better be working your ass off for the next two and a half years and then try something else because i that's heard what a I lot did. of guys that fucking suck and they still popping so <laughs> and that's where it goes back to the marketing right blue there. face fucking yeah. suck like he fucking trash yeah I, I, dude i never really no disrespect rap, no, I, rap I heard, lyrics wise he was a gimmick like I, don't get me wrong he got like three songs you I'm, notice I'm those guys with... don't last though, like the yeah, pan, yeah, the panda guy, he, the he fucking. Can't last. And I know, I know some of those guys though. You know, I guess in the mainstream eye, they kind of go away, mm -hmm. and then you kind of don't know. But sometimes they build themselves a little fan base off in the back, off that little oh, yeah. shit, and then they'll Once be putting do... out other shit, and you'd be like, oh, I didn't even know Designer had another record. Yeah. And people would be like, no, it's actually pretty good. And it's like, oh, well, at least he built some fans off yeah. his first shit. So I, I mean, mean he don't have fans forever. Yeah. Once you get that big, because people. You know, but people like, I like ODB. So, right. I don't knock nobody. Like, right. ODB, yeah, definitely, yeah. like, his last album, I, like, played the shit out of that. And, man, eh, it's not that tough. No. <laughs> I just like ODB right. like that. Yeah, yeah right, yeah. Like, I'm yeah. a big Nas fan, and he get criticized a lot. I kind of get it sometimes, you know, but I like it. Like, it fits me, so. Right. So I get that, too. So, um... Let's switch gears a little bit more. So that was just kind of maybe some local artists and stuff like that. Um, you want to talk about anything musically you may be working on before we maybe switch up? Uh, I've definitely oh, got, I got the Young there. Creators project. Like I said, that, that's in the summer. I got another hip. I got like two hip hop projects coming. I ain't going to speak on them, but. Okay. I, do I just got didn't know project. if it was ready to go, but yeah. Nah, we talked about that earlier. Ready. Don't speak on it. Just fucking yeah. do it. Or, or yeah, with bird in hand shit. You know what yeah. I mean? Have that shit in your I, head, It's you know? definitely due. I say that. Like, it's due for me to to put out some, some musical content. Like, every time I... I have put out, you know, one project and work with, like, K.O. Kwan. I feel like that was a, oh, yeah. that's a great right. project. I, remember that. I feel like that was a great project. So, that gave me, like, my wings to 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 know how to do it. So... You know, you gotta have quality, man. You don't want to just just be putting out like I never want to do what somebody else did. So, you know, when I when I do come out, the visuals, the creativity of it, you know, only thing you're gonna be able to 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 identify with is that is 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 hip hop. You know, it's rap. But as far yeah. as I've seen this before, it's, it's, it can't be none of that and nothing I do. Like whether it be creating an event or a platform or you know an idea, that's my whole thing. Like I never want to do what what nobody else did. Like that's easy, you right? Know what I'm saying, yeah. <laughs> Maybe if it was product wise, you no, know, right? You, you this, like you were you talking this, earlier, I make the spin off, and right, it's right, still right, jumping. Right, right. But as far as just like total creativity, like that's I feel like that's my gift. Like I I know how to create 
platforms or events or or you know what I'm saying marketing strategies. Oh, nice. With the best of them, so right, I just yeah. feel like I just had that. So and and uh, that's another thing that's cool is like you're always a constant learner. You know what I'm saying? Right. You're like every time we talk. Like I know it's kind of been a while since we have talked, but even before we were doing stuff, it just seems like. Oh, I heard this today about this and that, you know, and right. that's why I was kind of drawn to you because I'm the same way where it's like right. I'm a sponge. I'm trying to be like, all right, what's the next thing I can do to try to either help somebody else or right. be, su- be successful myself or hopefully do both in one, really. Right, you know right, what right. I mean? Like, how can I serve the people that I'm trying to fuck, fucking right. work with? You I mean, know? I don't know shit, but, so right. that's the most... Like I said, like, like you just said, like, uh, what's something I heard, like, you got to just be honest with yourself. Like, I don't come from nothing. I don't, I don't have a high school education or nothing like that. I just, you know what I'm saying? I know how to hustle, though. I know how to get to it. I know how to get things done. I do know how to take in information. And like you say, I know how to create. So if you give me a radio show, I'm going to create a marketing company and start doing shows for myself. Like, I'm not going to just be on the radio. You give me, you know what I'm saying? Right. You give me a microphone, put a podcast together. So so that part is like, yeah, that's that's just the biggest part about me. Like it, it's, it's it's I'm not supposed to be doing none of this. So it's kinda bigger than me. Right. Like I don't know what, yeah. how I'm doing none of this. Right. That probably sound yeah. crazy, but Well obviously a passion and a drive and uh uh you know. Right. Um, let me, let me, uh, I do want to say something real quick. I want to touch on one thing we also talked about in the garage. I asked you and you said something about the social media and posting content because we were talking about the artists posting content, but to draw it back a little bit, you talked about how, cause, uh, Los, you should, uh, what's your, what's your Instagram, bro? Uh, Los underscore the King underscore. Okay. Facebook. Facebook is Juan Los Migos. Juan Los Migos. I had that. Hold on, hold on. I had that shit. Before the Migos <laughs> drop, let that be known because that yeah, has that to be go known. check the history yeah, of it. Too. That, yeah. well, definitely, I ain't gonna say I was out before them, but I didn't know right. about Migos <laughs> till like Versace right. came out of some song they made. Yeah. But they had been popping, but I never, I got that shit being locked up, and I was like, damn, it's a whole group. They never gave me nothing for that. But anyways, I think that's what how you were saying. Did. The I social media. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's all right. We. As, you whatever. know, you throw Migos it's, out there, they got enough fans. Somebody yeah. be like, who? Yeah, yeah. I don't want nobody dissing. Who's this Migos guy? Yeah. Yeah, I got you. But yeah, follow his ass on social media because this is kind of what I'm saying. Too, this is two twofold is what I'm going to be saying here. Is uh, First, the shit you post is like, I do see it gets a lot of reactions and shit. Right, and right. we kind of talked about that and you do have a strategy for that so yeah. maybe not necessarily that's everybody's strategy because of the, some of the certain content is still entertaining so nonetheless make sure you check that shit out right, but right. uh um yeah it go left sometimes yeah 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 it's it can cool, but you get a lot of response from the things that you say right. you kind of poke the I bear mean, sometimes honest. i mean the, yeah, to be yeah, honest yeah, right? most people tell me like the most things i hear about um social media is like you be saying some real shit, but it'd be funny though. Right. So you know how to yeah. put real shit in a funny context. Yeah. And it's pretty yeah. It's pretty accurate. But tell me what can you t- you wanna tell me what you were telling me in the garage about how uh you put it together though? Like how it's all Oh, I just yeah, yeah that's like a social media uh Gary V. Like I said, I I follow Gary V, Warren Buffett, uh Elon Musk. I'm just giving y'all some game right now because cause these people that like I don't know. Like that's that's enough though. That's enough people. Yeah. But Gary V. It's just about building great. on content is um, you know, the algorithms right. and all of that and the hashtags, but the consistency is basically a part of that. So yep. me personally, I, I build up content. So it might look like I'm like why, uh, how people say you on social media all day? All day, because yeah, Gary right. V say you should post one hundred times a yeah. day of quality content, which yeah. to me is impossible. Like I work, I got, you know jobs, yeah. I got other things going on. But I, I, you know, if I get to that, you I kind of get, get what he's saying. Yeah. But I don't have a machine behind me to push. You know, right, I'm pretty right. sure have Gary people making his. Yeah, content. I'm pretty sure he got people making his content. Right. So, uh, you know, I, I went with ten because it's just me. So yeah. I might pre-draft. Five videos or five um, 
uh, quotes or uh, yeah. five funny jokes I got that right, I want right. to say or something. Points that you made yeah. or observations. And then I just note everything. Yeah. So every thought I have, just like a rapper, okay. I, I note it. Oh, you dope. know what I'm saying? So if I come Good up idea. with something funny and it's just hilarious to me, I just write it down okay. and then I yeah. note it. And then by the time I look at my phone, you know, I, I know like, eh, I mean, it was a horrible thought now <laughs> you know it that helped too because horrible. another tip is yeah. if you type something and you look at it and you don't want to post it the next day then there yeah. you go so yeah that's your pre-screen yeah yeah that it takes the emotional I'm... posting out too like you it might be mad about that. something and you might say something you shouldn't and fucking I do say that a lot. you're mad at yep. something i used to do that and, a lot and then like even if the person then is friends with you on social media Mm-hmm. Or something, or like, you know what I mean? Like, it's just, it's, yeah. Hey, the emotional posting up, has to stop. I probably shouldn't say this, but you know what's fucked up? Like, if it, if you are, did make it, like, I make some shit because I'm mad at a situation and it's, but it's funny. So I won't post it then, but I post it like next week. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because it's, it's too it, good a content yeah, to yeah. just let go. Right, so, like, you. this is shit. Yeah. It's hilarious. So I just post it later. But yeah, it does stop you from posting out of anger because it's just humans are emotional, man. We just yeah. get emotional and then now this new gadget and got us just typing whatever we think. So yeah. Yeah, like we know shit. Nine just, times out of ten, yeah. if you mad and you type something and you look at it the next day, you're not even gonna post it. Yeah. The emotional uh posting. So that's my definitely. thing. Build your content up. Don't think you just gotta get on Facebook and freestyle. It's just like rap music. It's right. just like hot nine seven. Yeah. Them niggas is not freestyle it you know what i'm saying yeah <laughs> yeah we're kind of going off the cusp but we actually got a few things but yeah it's not there's there's an agenda involved for yeah, sure yeah it's always so. everything is planned that you see if you you naive if you think that you see you know you know what you see in freestyle when you see a, a lady get knocked out at Popeye's chicken you know, that, that, <laughs> yeah, that, that really happened that's yeah freestyle. that really As happened. it gets yeah but you see a rapper you know beating up somebody and he on his phone while he punching them or yeah, some, yeah, yeah. some other antic pre, or something. Pre, yeah. like this is me not thinking. When I was talking about the social media thing, uh, we talked about the top, the the list out the garage. You want to talk about the list? Which list? Oh, uh, the list that I posted. Because <laughs> uh, that starts. That. I felt like that. I got sneak this mad Dude, crazy I felt for like that. that list. Yeah, though. I felt like uh, I felt like niggas was taking shots at me. Like, like, <laughs> that nigga like that. I felt they didn't like your list. <laughs> <laughs> I got that vibe. But uh, I might have even said something about it. But uh, yeah. I mean, I don't remember the list. That's, that's not like what. That's not important. For, I don't, I, oh. I, I, we ain't even bringing in names. Oh, no, I wasn't gonna shit. put the names right, in right, there, right, but right. I don't remember the list. But basically, I just made a list. I like, I make the list based off, like, that. Per, no, let me. <laughs> that particular list, I remember. I was basing it off the summer. So if you wasn't popping in the summer. Or make a dope song that I personally like. Okay. This wasn't yeah. really about everybody else. This was a lot of those songs were songs that I heard and I thought was dope. Like it was one of those songs I don't think even had views, but I liked the yeah, song. Okay, you yeah. know what I'm saying? It wasn't so, about yeah, it wasn't really about that. About it was the about whole. you know I got my favorites. Like uh, people so sensitive. Like rappers stop being so sensitive. Even if I come on there and say some negative shit about you, it's more promotion than you've been getting. Like <laughs> that real and, shit I mean, because you got somebody that's like everybody got their home girl. You might got a little girl, but anybody that's talking about your music in any light, that's straight. Yeah, you gotta be more tough skinned than somebody. Oh, I didn't make the list. Who gives a shit? Make the list next time yeah. if you care about it, right? Or if because right. if you didn't care about it, why would you mention? Why would you say it? like if somebody bring it up and, talking yeah. about something I don't care about? I'm not gonna take it to a, a platform and start talking about it because I don't care. But right. I don't well, really care, so just make shit, I don't know, make the list. But it was really just about the songs that I like. It wasn't really Yeah, really I think that, that kind of got really, lost in the yeah, mix too. Everybody was like, Oh wait, what the fuck? They're which like, I do yeah. have great taste, so yeah. I, I put them songs up against <laughs> yeah, anybody it's your else's fucking song. opinion, right? Yeah. yeah. I so, mean, don't yeah. get me wrong, right. that day I do my research if I do some shit like that. So right, I really yeah. went through a lot of a lot of local music, which let me use this as a uh, a, a chance to say that too, man. I really listen to everybody's shit. You know what I'm saying? Not maybe when y'all tag me and it. I have my day where I be like, okay, let me peep the scene and let me go check everybody out. I'm not gonna listen to you because you sent it to me. I don't got that the mental space for that. Like, right. You know what I'm saying? I really don't 
like that much music like that. Like I still listen to Nas. To right, this your day. shit. You know the what shit I'm that I still you can vibe to. Lots. Well, put you in a good mood and shit. Yeah, I listen yeah, to yeah. what I want to hear. Because your shit might your shit might fuck up your vibe. Right. Shit might fuck up. <laughs> but I, I can't. I challenge anybody here that's doing anything musically besides maybe a producer who take their time to go through everybody's music and create a list. Like right. I thought a that was list. I thought that was lost in all of it. Like yeah. I done did that like two times. One of them was like everybody was cool with it, but I had like a lot of people on there. So it was like everybody got shine. But when I slimmed it down, people didn't make the list. So yeah. I just want to I just want to put that. You know what I'm saying? Like at the end of the day, I invested some time. I make sure I click on everybody. I might not even look at your video, but I'm still gonna hit the like button because you're from the city. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I might not like the song. Yeah, I'm still gonna give you the reaction that I know a post needs yeah. just to show love. But all that, I think my shit is the shit. So you gotta think it's the shit, man. Miss me with that. Bro. Yeah, that uh, <laughs> not being able to take criticism and taking it personally is a fucking dream killer, man. Like you got it, and and point two to that, not everybody's gonna like your shit anyway. So if you can't accept that, don't be a fucking creator, right, dude? People don't like the Sistine Chapel. Yeah, fucking. You like, know I what I mean? A lot people of are part- like David, the statue of David. That thing's fucking stupid. Why do you well, even yeah. like that? But I you know, some shit. people are like, oh, the Mona Lisa is beautiful. You know, it's art. Yeah, it's 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 to the ear for us, but you know, to the eye for other people. I threw sh- events that people didn't fuck with. I didn't get mad at the city, like, <laughs> right. like niggas ain't fucking with me. I was like, man, niggas wasn't fucking with that. Like they didn't fuck with that. They didn't fuck with that date. There's, it was something on right. my end that yeah. went wrong. It wasn't yeah. like it was nothing. Yeah, yeah. So, You're responsible you know for your destiny. Niggas don't like to give your props or like Dame Dash. I take my own shit. You know what I'm saying? I be really supporting niggas shit. Niggas that shoot y'all videos don't even support y'all shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? You look at my story, it's a nigga I don't even know his video being my shit. Or I see a young nigga who ain't never did nothing with his music. I I'm, I hit him up to do a show. Yeah. For nothing. Try I put niggas yeah. on the stage. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Any nigga I heard I fuck with, they'll never tell you I didn't show love at some point. You know what I'm saying? Maybe shit went left later like you thought you was, you know, in demand of something that I didn't, and we went separate ways. But at the end of the day, I did something I ain't never have to do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Promoters hit me up and asked me, like, would you do this, this, and that, and who you working with? I might just go pick a, hey, they popping. Let me go holler at little homie, see if he want to get on and do this. So that's always been me. But, you know, I never really speak on that. But, to, you know, today I'm going to speak yeah, on that. Yeah, that's like, fine. I don't really that's see, what this nobody. Podcast I don't really see nobody doing that shit right. ever. Yeah. Like, not not yeah. one time. I done did a lot of shit just on me. So now I got a price. I don't, right. That makes sense. Unless it's a kid, <laughs> we can, you know what I'm saying? I work with a kid, but grown men, nah, man, that shit's dead. Right. Like, this shit take stress time god damn it yeah, blood yeah. sweat and tears yeah, it does it does and not everybody's willing to give and it and you ain't even really with it you're not right. gonna be doing this shit you know what I'm saying when you don't wanna do it yeah you know what yeah. I'm saying that's, that's a big thing is doing shit when you don't I wanna do it I probably got like three events on the floor that I sometimes I wake up I don't feel like doing yeah. the little intricate shit that I gotta do to get up to the but I'm gonna do it cause yeah. I know I'm I want to do it at the end of the day, just maybe not today. Right. Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> so that'd be my biggest thing. Like, you know, nobody can stun on me with that. I always support niggas. I had days where I just only upload niggas' music on my page. Yeah. Where people probably don't even fuck with my page. Right. Because I'm uploading all yeah, this local yeah, music yeah. on here today. Well, I mean, <laughs> but that's also, you know, the reason why you did the radio and all that shit, too. You know, right. just put other people on the platforms and stuff like that. So yeah. that's always dope. But, uh, Dude, we could go on that. and on, but we're about at 52 minutes. I don't want to drone on much longer here because once we cut it down, we'll have some gems, I believe, in this bitch. And, uh, man, we'll definitely do it again like sooner than later because we could probably talk for five more fucking hours. But yeah, man, we're going to have to get the series going. That's a lot you know of uh, that's a lot of editing, too. So let's get the, pass that off Get the mixing else. it up. But, series yeah, going. so... Um, yeah, EDP, Mixing It Up Podcast. Appreciate you guys uh, listening. Um, Los the King. Tell them, your, tell them uh, 
real quick before we go one more time uh your social media please follow los follow me at los underscore the king underscore that's on ig and then juan los migos on facebook juan los wave on youtube uh juan los wave on twitter uh audio life audio life llc on facebook that's like my yeah that's your shit. fuck with, fuck with right. that audio life page too yeah juan los all right, guys. Uh, you heard Los. Like I said, he's gonna be on here again. Definitely got. We we, we could go all day, drop a bunch of gems and knowledge, but uh, I want to keep these digestible at some point. So, um, much love to you guys, and uh, thanks again, Los. Peace, Los the King, baby.